Hi, we're the Fab Quotient Girls. I'm Celine. I'm Joni. And today we're going to take a look at a really powerful technique to help you manage stress. And that is power napping. Now my partner here, who's driving, really power naps. And it's unbelievable to see her. She'll disappear having just looked a little bit tired and having an energy slump and come back after 12, maybe 20 minutes at most, looking like she's had a double espresso. Joni, how do you do it? Okay, so it's really simple and it is the more you practice the luckier you get. But the simplicity of it is, first of all, give yourself permission not to sleep. So we're quite hard on ourselves. I've got a power nap and I've got to get into a slumber. No, lie somewhere where you're comfy. It could be on a couch, on your bed. I have some clients who go to their cars in the basement and do it. Lie down, feel comfy and then just relax the extremities of your body. So your toes, your hands, feel it coming up your legs, your shoulders. And then use our 4, 7, 8 breathing technique. Listen to that video. Breathe in for 4, hold for 7, out for 8. And actually get into that kind of rhythm. Set your cell phone alarm, I should have said this first, so that it goes off exactly 20 minutes later. So when you've, um, before you lie down, 20 minutes, and then you'll wake up refreshed. And the secret, uh, Celine, to success is the fact that as that buzzer goes up, off, you get up. It doesn't uh, matter if you, you feel groggy. or Because, you because if you fall it. asleep again, you could drop into a different exactly. cycle of sleep and then just feel worse. Hundreds. And you've got to train your body. So 20 minutes is what a power nap should be. And you've got to keep training your body. In fact, I now, I do often set my alarm if I've got a meeting and I, I don't want to kind of miss it. But my body knows. I wake up 19 minutes after I've lied down. So it's just, it's magnificent how you can train your body to do these things. So really it's about giving yourself permission yes. and understanding that many times we won't be able to always get enough sleep. And yeah. uh, instead of being sleep deprived and that impacting your behavior around food and exercise and managing stress, you could maybe bring in these power naps in the day to help with that. You'll find that you're not tempted to have bad snacks. I sometimes want to have a bad snack, have a power nap, have a glass of water, and then I'm done. I feel fantastic. So why don't you have a power nap this afternoon? And if you'd like more tips like this, you're welcome to visit us at resilientenergycenter.com. Ciao for now. Ciao.